we love seeing what people build with Quad, especially with coding. And we want to make Quad better at coding for everyone. We built some tools, one of which we're sharing today. We're launching Quad Code as a research preview. Quad Code is an agentic coding tool that lets you work with Quad directly in your terminal. We're going to show you an example of it in action. So we have a project here. It's a Next.js app. Let's open it up in an instance of Quad Code. Now that we've done this, Quad Code has access to all of the files in this repository. We don't know much about this code base. It looks like an app for chatting with a customer support agent. Let's get Quad to help explain this code base to us. Quad starts by reading the higher level files, and then it dives in deeper. Now it's going through all the components in the project. Cool. Here's its final analysis. So say I was asked to replace this left sidebar with a chat history. And I'm also going to add a new chat button. I'm going to ask Claude to help me out here. We haven't specified any files or paths. And Claude's already finding the right files to update by itself. Claude can also show its thinking. And we can see how it's decided to tackle this problem. Claude's asking me if I want to accept these changes. I'll say yeah. Now Claude's updating the navbar adding a button and icons as well. Next, it's updating the logic to ensure the saving state works correctly. After a bit, Claude completes the task. Here's a summary of what it's done. Let's take a look at the app. So we're seeing a new chat button and new chat history section on the left. Let's check if I can start a new chat while keeping the previous one saved. I'll try out the new chat button too. Great, it's all working. Now let's ask Claude to add some tests to make sure that the features we just added work. Claude's asking for permission to run commands. We'll say yes. Claude is making some changes to run these tests. After getting the results, it continues with its plan until all tests pass. After a few minutes, it looks like we're good to go. Now I'm going to ask Claude to compile the app and see if we get any build errors. Let's see what it finds. Claude identified the build errors and is now fixing them. Then it tries to build again. It'll keep going until it works. Now let's finish everything up by asking Claude to commit its changes and push them to GitHub. Claude creates a summary and a description of our changes, and it'll push the changes to GitHub. That's it. That's an example of what Claude code can do. We can't wait for people to start building with it.